Do you want to get clients easily in 2022? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use cold email to easily get clients in 10% of the time that it usually takes. And I'm gonna show you how you can actually book tons and tons of meetings through this. So if you sell any high ticket service like agency services or coaching services or any high ticket SaaS, this video is exactly for you. And as some of you may know, there is a new iOS update which stops people being able to track open rates. Well, in this video, I'm gonna cover exactly how to solve this in 2022 so that you don't have to worry about which cold email template is working for you. Oh, but Yash, cold email doesn't work. I've tried it so many times and I didn't get any results. <laughs> Nobody wants to work with me. Now, you may think this, but I actually have a software that can actually write the first lines for you, the personalized first lines, so that you don't have to, which allows you to send out cold emails in 10% of the time. So stay tuned, because in the middle of this video, I'm gonna be going through that as well. And what makes this video better than all the other cold email videos out there by Patrick Dang, Jordan Steen, or even Alex Berman. Well, the thing is, I've actually watched all of these videos, hundreds of these videos, taken tons of courses. So I'm gonna put all the information that I've learned from all of these videos and courses into this one video so that you don't have to skip around and do all these different things. Without further ado, let's jump in because I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna buy a new domain. Why do you wanna buy a new domain? Well, it's very simple, okay? You don't wanna be sending out emails on your current domain and the reason being is because you're going to be doing outreach on this email domain. And if any of these emails that you send get marked as spam or get blocked by the sender, this is really going to hurt your deliverability. And what does deliverability mean? It's essentially how often your emails end up in the normal inbox of people's emails. So essentially, if you are sending a lot of spammy emails or emails that are basically really annoying, you're gonna be marked as spam. So it's really, really important that you follow the process and watch to the end of the video because I'm gonna tell you how you stop that and how you always end up in the inbox and not the spam. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna buy domain, you wanna to go to Google Domains. You can typically buy a domain for usually around $15. Sometimes it's a little bit more, sometimes it's a little bit less, but this is usually what's gonna last you a whole year. The next thing that you wanna do is you wanna buy G Suite, okay? And you wanna create a new email address on this domain. You don't wanna be sending out emails on your current email address just because if anything happens to this email address, the deliverability of this may be affected you may end up in spam and your current clients that you send emails to or any other type of internal communications will actually suffer. So it's important that you keep this separate and this is something that a lot of people ignore but is really, really, really important. The next thing that you wanna do is you wanna go to lemlist.com and you want to go and get the email outreach package. Now at the current time, this is around $50 a month and I know costs are starting to add up a little bit but I'm only going to be including the most essential things and I'll also be including the things that will save you a lot of time in this video so you don't need to spend random time. Now the next step is really, really important, so really pay attention here, is you wanna go ahead and hit the like button. And the reason why you wanna hit the like button is these videos take a lot of time and I would really appreciate if you do show me a little bit of love. After you've hit the like button, the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna to go to Google Domains, you wanna to go to the DNS records, and then you wanna to go to this article linked in the description below. We're gonna be setting up DMARC, and essentially this stops against cyber attacks for your email address. And the thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to go to Google Domains, you need to click Manage Custom Records, you need to create a new record. I've already created the record, but essentially what you wanna do is you actually wanna copy this, put this into in the host name, you wanna make the txt file, type and then you want to put in the data as this and you want to change your email to whatever this may be so whatever the email that you just bought you want to put that in there you want to hit save now you can set up dkim sbf and also a custom tracking domain but i'm not going to be going through this in this video there will be links in the description on how you can do that uh, there's loads of other things on how you can do that so i'm not going to cover that today the next thing that you want to do is you want to go to lemlist you want to go to the top left hand side and when you want to click on lem warm now what is lem warm lem warm is essentially a feature to basically warm up your email inbox. You've literally just bought a new domain, so it's really, really important to make it look like it's a normal domain, a real domain that actually sends normal emails. And the way to do that so that you don't get marked to spam straight away is to warm up emails by sending it to other people and receiving other emails. But instead of doing this manually and signing up to newsletters, 
the best way is actually just to use this feature. And what Lemlist does, it sends emails with other people who are on Lemlist to you, mark them as important so that this email account actually looks like it's a normal, healthy email account that isn't out there to actually do outreach messages. As you've just bought a new domain and created a new email account, it's really, really important that you only start to send around 25 to 30 emails a day and you set up your ramp up of the number of emails that you send a day to one email a day. Now, what you're gonna do now is you're actually gonna leave it Okay, you're gonna leave it for five days and what this does is warms up your account so it looks like a normal account that isn't out there to do outreach. Now, the next thing that you need to do is get a lead list. Now, there's many way, different ways to actually get a lead list, but the first way would be to actually use LinkedIn Sales Navigator and that's what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. Now, there are other ways like using a virtual assistant to scrape websites and using hunter.io. There's other ways where you can buy lead lists online. There's so many different tools out there, but in this video, because because of convenience sake and because of the quality of the emails, we're gonna be using LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Now, LinkedIn Sales Navigator is $100 per month, but for the first month, it is free. And because it is free, if you just get like one client off this, this can typically pay for the $100 per month for probably a year if you just get one client. So there is a high return of investment if you can actually nail it. The next thing that you wanna do is you wanna to go to a website called Weezer.co. Now, Weezer.co essentially allows you to get all the data of all the people who are on LinkedIn because there's so many different people on LinkedIn that have their email addresses, which company they're at, you know, how big these companies are, are. It's really, really easy to actually filter leads and actually find the best people for you. So this is why we actually use LinkedIn. But Weezer allows you to extract this information and put this onto a Google Sheet so that you can actually have all the information in one place so that at some point you can then put it into the email software to then basically start sending out cold emails. So you wanna go to Weezer.co. Now, now, Weezer works on a credit system. And this way that works is, the more emails that you scrape, the more that you pay. Now, maximum, you're probably gonna be sending out maybe around a thousand emails every single month. But the plus package can really help with that. But if you're just starting out, the $30 per month package is fine. You can probably send out maybe a hundred emails a month doing that. And if you're absolutely starting and budget is low, that is the software that I recommend. And really, really quick, are you paying attention? Yeah, that's right, pay attention, because this is gonna make you loads of money. Once you've done all of this, you now need to go to LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Once you go to LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you wanna go to where the search bar is and you wanna click Lead Filters. Once you click Lead Filters, you then wanna define the geographical location that you wanna target for this cold email campaign. So if you're targeting people in the UK, you wanna pick UK. The next thing that I like to do and I like to pick is which industry I'm targeting. Now, I've made a video on picking a niche for your agency or your business. If you wanna click in the top right-hand side, there is a video on that. But essentially what you wanna be doing is you wanna be targeting a specific industry so that you can make the cold email template as tailored to that industry as possible. So in this example, let's pick financial services. Once you've done that, you now wanna pick the size of the companies that you wanna do. Now, typically the bigger companies have more money, but also it's very unlikely that you might actually get results or get meetings with these guys just because they're such big dogs. So typically I like to go for self-employed, companies that are one to 10 and 11 to 50. What you wanna do is I would just pick one of these and basically see what leads turn out. And as you can see now, you can see people in the financial services industry that are in companies that are around 11 to 50 and are in the United Kingdom because that's where I'm based. Now, as you can see, LinkedIn has given a load of different leads. And essentially, if you go into the top right-hand side, you can see a little Weezer little logo. Now, essentially what you wanna do is you wanna basically tick the leads that you want to actually go ahead and cold email. Now, of course, you can get a VA to do this in the future, but essentially you can define what type of categories they are. You can even filter by job title. Uh, so for example, if you're only going after CEO, is that something that you can do as well? And essentially what you wanna do, okay, is you wanna tick all the ones that basically fit your criteria of a person that you would like to cold email, someone who is obviously a decision maker, who is essentially someone who makes a decision as to whether they wanna work with you. Typically you wanna be sending at least 100 leads and then doing a whole cold email campaign on that. So tick off 100 leads, and what you wanna do is you wanna export these leads to Weezer. There is a little button once you've ticked all of them and you can export all these leads to Weezer and you just wanna follow that screen and you wanna follow all the different options and it will basically then create a list 
a CSV file for you to download and it'll take a bit of time to obviously extract all the information but essentially it will extract the first name the last name the LinkedIn URL what their location is if they have a mobile number associated with their LinkedIn account and then on top of this their email address which is what you actually need to cold email once you've done that the next thing that you want to do is you have a beautiful lead list this is exactly where we are we're very very close to actually going ahead and sending our cold emails now we're nearly done but one of the things that we need to do now is we actually need to write the copy for our cold email templates now typically when you send out cold emails there's four templates that you're actually going to create the first email which i would say is the most important and the second third and fourth are usually follow-ups if the people that you send cold emails to do not reply so the first cold email has a template that looks a bit like this you want to have a subject line don't use a quick question because everyone uses that maybe you could do company name x your company name or you could be a question about their product again the more personalized this is the better but at the end of the day um you want to also make sure that you can hit volume now actually looking at the template one of the things that you want to look at is you want to put high first name and then after this you want to put a personalized first line and this is something that you will manually write into the spreadsheet so in the leads list when it's created from Weezer what you want to do is you want to add another column and in this column you want to write personalized first line or first line and essentially what you want to do is you want to write personalized comments about that prospect you want to go onto their LinkedIn in, you want to manually research them now there is another way to do this and the way that you can actually do this is actually using a software called quick lines now this is a little bit pricey and it isn't absolutely essential but essentially there are packages where you could get um, the AI of this software to actually write the first lines for you now it is pricey as I said just to get 150 first lines it typically costs you around $50 or if you want 600 first lines, this typically costs $150. Now this depends on how long it actually takes you to write personalized first lines, but from my point of view, if you're doing this and you wanna save time and, it, and depending on your hourly rate, it's not a bad choice. Now the way to actually write a first line is basically to write something personal to them. And why is this really, really important? Well, first of all, this basically increases the likelihood that someone's gonna respond because you're actually doing some research and you're doing something that will build an emotional connection with them. And usually you wanna make it some sort of compliment about what they have posted or some sort of achievement that they've made or something that's specific to their company. Again, this is a whole topic in itself, but you wanna make it so that it's personal to them so they're not receiving a copy and paste email. On top of this, the reason why you wanna send out a personalized first line is because the email providers like Gmail, Outlook, and Yahoo have filters where if you're sending the same copy and paste email template and there's no variation, it's actually gonna put a higher likelihood of putting you in the spam folder. And obviously if you end up in the spam folder, none of your emails are gonna get read. And on top of this, you'll have to actually buy a whole new domain because the deliverability of this domain is totally gone. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you make these personalized first lines. Uh, on top of this, this increases the likelihood that people are gonna respond, trust me. In fact, there's people out there where you can get a 10x higher response by just personalizing your first line. So don't skip this. You can get a VA to do it, the software to do this, but do not absolutely skip this. So after you have written the first line or we've kind of put in the quotation marks, the um, so after the first line in the template, the thing that you want to do now, you want to insert a problem that you're solving you want to use social proof. And then after this, you want to add a, your no-brainer offer. It's really, really important to add a no-brainer offer because this basically reverses the risk that they're going to waste time having a meter with you. Now, of course, be very careful. If you don't actually claim some of the things that you can do and you can't actually guarantee it, don't offer guarantee. But when you, whenever you can offer a guarantee, this increases the likelihood uh, that your outreach message will actually convert into a booked meeting. The thing after that, you want to actually put a call to action and the call to action will essentially have a booking link it's really really important that you have a booking link because this is the only thing that can be tracked and basically we want to be tracking clicks because right now open rates can't be tracked as well because of the new apple update and you apple <laughs> so here's an example of a cold email uh, that you could write hi first name i loved your recent feature on the joe rogan podcast and your views on naruto we recently just worked with x to solve y and delivered z result and now we'd like to do the same for you we're so confident we can help you that if you don't see z result in said timeline you can have your money back click here to book a call because i'd love to speak to you sometime next week 
Uh, and then after this, I've added best witches, my name, and then the website link. It's really, really important that you add a website link and you can put your normal website in here. You can put a landing page, whatever it might be, because this ad adds further proof. Just imagine if someone cold emails you, they have no website. It's not gonna add a huge amount of credibility. So if you do have a website, this is really gonna help, but it's not absolutely essential. Uh, now you need to write up the follow-up emails. And essentially I usually write three follow-up emails after this. So the second email typically looks like something like hi first name. I, I didn't want this email to to get buried. I'm just bumping this up to the top of your inbox. The third email typically hits on some sort of other pain that my solution solves. So if I'm selling digital marketing services, I'm going to talk about how this has increased their profit. And the fourth email is usually a breakup email. And this email is essentially an email that you send out um, to basically be like, I'm not going to reach out anymore. It's almost like an ultimatum. If anything changes and you are actually interested in our service, please feel free to reach out. And then after that, no more emails are sent. And it's really, really important to understand that these emails are only sent out when the prospect does not respond okay if the prospect responds the prospect automatically gets taken out of the sequence and you can obviously reply back to them and book a meeting or whatever it might be. So at this point, what you should have is a lead list and you've probably written out the first lines and now you're pretty much ready to go. So before you send anything out or you import it into Lemlist, you wanna check everything that you've written has no errors, no typos or anything like that. And then what you wanna do is you wanna import it into Lemlist. You wanna line up all the different dynamic variables. Uh, so if first name matches up with first name, uh, first line matches up with personalized first line, all of these different things. And then you wanna manually review each email before you send it out. And you're probably wondering, or what times to actually schedule out the emails. Well, the, the times that you actually schedule out the emails is depending on when your actual prospect will be at their desk checking the email. You don't wanna be sending it at times that they're not actually opening the email. And the reason why you don't wanna do that is because uh, your email will actually end up in the middle of their inbox. Instead, what you wanna do is you wanna send it at times where they're most likely to actually see it. And times like this are usually Monday to Friday if they're in a typical business and on top of this, at the beginning of the day or just before the end of the day because this is typically when people actually open the emails. Then what you wanna do is you wanna schedule this, okay? And then typically, Lemlist will send out these emails at those specific times and then usually you should get some sort of feedback as to what's happened. Now typically the benchmarks that you're looking for is around a 90% open rate. Now again we can't track open rates as well so this isn't going to be as effective nowadays but you also want to be looking at click-through rates. In all honesty you know a three to four percent click-through rate and the most important thing out of that is actually the meeting book rate. If you send a hundred emails you want to see at least five to ten meetings book from this. And if you're not getting that, you either need to change the first email, okay? And that is the first thing I would change. The first thing I would change is the subject line so that you can get more opens. And then you wanna be split testing the message in the email after that once you're getting a good amount of opens. And then after that, you then wanna focus on then maybe the other emails as well. But the most important, the most highest leverage thing to focus on is actually the first email, the subject line, uh, and the contents of those emails. So I hope you found this video valuable. This is a all-inclusive video on how you can actually send out cold emails in 2022. You can actually make your VA do some of this process. So again, please go ahead and subscribe because I found this video very valuable. And if you are wanting to find e-commerce clients, check out my video right in the top right-hand side um, because I made a video on this and if you also you're an agency owner we actually run a facebook group you want to join that in the link below and uh, we give out free advice um, and all of that so yeah i um, hope you found this video valuable and i'll see you very very soon goodbye